then if that's the case, then you need to make sure your ass show up. <laughs> you need to be that person that they said that you were. It might be really cute pictures on the water. Uh uh. Uh uh. During that whole quarantine process. Hey y'all, and welcome to another episode of Sadie Says It All for Adventures Magazine. I am here every other Tuesday at 7 p.m. talking about stuff, just just stuff. <laughs> so um, this week I was, oh, real quick, y'all like my wig, my new wig, y'all, yeah. It's kind of in a color family of a lot of other blondish, amberish colored wigs that I, I often buy. But um, I can't remember her name. But anyhow, this video always ends up on my YouTube, which is Sadie Says It All. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hopefully, you know, you'll go over and check that out and subscribe. And um, I'll place the, the name of the wig there because I always forget because I switch them out so often. But anyhow, so... I was thinking of um, a topic for this uh, week's discussion or my chat with you. And my most recent article for Adventures Magazine I thought would be something great to chat about. So uh, my article, um, the most recent one, is three reasons women are for women to collaborate. First of all, why not? But <laughs> we're going to go into reasons for women to collaborate. I actually came about that topic for that article because um, I linked up with a couple of good, really solid gro uh, good groups of women on Instagram who support one another. Like, they support one another. Not only through, which is awesome, uh, social media posts and sharing and, and liking and engagement, but we also buy from one another. I purchased probably at least about four or five uh, gift items and something for myself um, <laughs> just through these newfound connections. And they were through these groups of women. On Instagram so you know if anybody's interested to know about them you can feel free to reach out and I'll let you know and you know but they they have been two solid like I said solid groups of women that have been great for networking purposes and um, just support and encouragement so yeah so uh, the article three reasons women uh, for women to collaborate Okay, uh, reason number one, nobody knows, nobody knows the struggle and the challenge, challenges that women face trying to get ahead in any arena more than another woman. Okay, so, <laughs> so just being able to talk and chit chat about how to overcome or navigate some of those hurdles and, and, and those uh, obstacles that may come your way. It's good to be able to talk to other women that can assist you with that. Uh, maybe they have been successful in certain areas that they can kind of lend some great advice and help you. You know, it's all about connecting and, and helping one another in, in those uh, areas in which we struggle. So definitely, uh, and not to say that some man, <laughs> not to say that some man may not be able to like kind of let you know a way to go about it, but I think it would be a lot better coming from a woman who has been successful with that you know she can let you know tea so to speak you know what I mean so 
that's definitely uh, a great reason to um, collaborate. Okay, uh, reason number two. And y'all don't, my nails are jacked, so, you know. <laughs> Your girl's been busy. Uh, reason number two. Um, mm, ride the wave. Right now, there is such a wave of women joining forces and just speaking up and speaking out for one another. It's a movement. You know what I mean? It's a movement. And there have been movements for women. Of course there have because we are where we are in a lot of areas because of women before us. Like we stand on the shoulders. So whenever there is this wave and this movement going on, you want to be a part of that. You know, so helping one another as far as speaking up, speaking out when you see injustices amongst one another, it's very important. You know, why wouldn't you want to be a part of that? That's like empowering to say, you know what? We did that together. Together we stood as women and we knocked down those barriers. So it's definitely another great reason to collaborate. You know, there's power in numbers. So, uh, again, you know, to be a part of a movement where we're, we're helping one another to, you know, get ahead and advance, you know, again, great reason to, to collaborate. Uh, and like I said, this one's going to be a quick one because, you know, why not collaborate? <laughs> So again, um, yeah, so reason number three, you ever heard the saying, your name is being spoken in rooms you haven't even stepped foot in yet? A woman speaking up for another woman as far as connections. Like that, that's, that's so major. You being able to help another woman out as far as just putting her name out there and, and, and just putting her name on the mind of someone, you know, to say, you know what? I know this particular person. She does this, this, and this. This is what you're looking for. She would be a great fit for you. Making those connections. Putting people in touch with people um, is great. And a woman being able to speak up for you and, and put the good word out, you know, is, is, is awesome. Um, and also, in turn, with someone referring you to someone, you need to be that chick. You know what I mean? You need to come through. You know, because we always talk about... Just think about day to day whenever someone is applying for a job or a position and, you know, they want to use you as a reference. And then if you're being used as a reference, you speak up for this person and you say good words and put in a good word for this person. And then if that's the case, then you need to make sure your ass show up. <laughs> you need to be... That person that they said that you were. It might be a good thing in turn if someone says, okay, look, I said this about you. You were dependable. You're a reliable person. You're, you know, you come through on what you, what you say you're going to do and you do quality work. Then you need to appreciate that reference and be that chick. You need to be that chick. Because if you ain't going to be that chick, then you need to make sure you let that person know. Like, say, for instance, if they put the good word out there for you and they come back and they tell you, hey, I know someone who was looking for a person that does what you do. And I gave them your name. Then if you don't feel that you can be what they said you are, 
then you need to let them know, um, yeah, I, I don't know if I can live up to that. <laughs> I'm just being real here. Now, I'll, I'll also say if an opportunity presents itself for you, I mean, give it a go. Don't doubt yourself if you think that you can do it. Don't doubt yourself. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is if somebody's putting a good word in for you, then that in turn is also their name on the line. So you need to make sure that you're going to be that person that they said you were. That's all. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. So I'm trying to think of anything else. I mean, it, it's. It's funny, um, I just recently, getting off of that kind of, but still on topic, um, I mentioned the Instagram, uh, the couple of circles that I'm kind of in um, on Instagram. I just recently made it my, my focus and my goal to grow a particular Instagram page that I have because of certain goals that I have for myself. And once I got focused and actually started um, trying to move in the right direction with that, it's funny how things just start to happen and they start to grow. Um, the opportunity alone here with being able to take over <laughs> Adventures Magazine's live feed every other Tuesday that's been awesome. It's been great for me because it's gotten me comfortable, got me in a place where I'm comfortable with, uh, not that I, well, I was at one point, I was completely uncomfortable at one point with doing any type of videos or what have you, but now with doing them so often, it's like, it's like second nature. It's fun too. And <laughs> anyhow, but, um, yeah, so now like I'm on this path where I'm focused and I'm trying to grow. I'm also looking to help others grow as well. So it's this great kind of sisterhood and it feels good when we can get in there and promote one another and help one another. And it's like high five on one another, supporting one another uh, with our post. And um, yeah, so it's just a great feeling to be able to uh, accomplish even if it's the smallest goal, being able to accomplish that and to say that other women have helped you be able to meet those goals, that's an awesome thing. And I just want to continue to be able to do that for other women that are trying to push themselves forward as well. So, um, yeah, so I said again that this was going to be a quick one. It was all about women support one another and collaborating. But if you're a guy listening to this, we, we want your support too. <laughs> if you want to support us, we'll take that too. Um, but yeah, so again, this video will end up on my YouTube channel. Sadie says it all. So hopefully you will like that. Just take a walk all over and subscribe and, and like, you know, whatever videos are there. But also, I always have a code for you for the lip bar. Okay, so uh, today I'm actually wearing, oh, Prima Donna, which is a liquid matte. And then in the center, in the center, I was in a rush. I was actually looking for my purple rain to do in the center. But then I was in a rush and I found Playmate, which is like this hot fuchsia pink. Kind of anyhow, so I just put that in the center, so it's uh, prima donna around and then playmate in the center. And you can uh, click on the link that I have there for the lip bar, and you can enter a discount code that I have for you. And I'm actually gonna make this up on the spot, so let me see what it's gonna be. Um, Okay, so we're just going to keep it simple and we're going to say SHOP2020. So uh, just enter the discount code SHOP2020 and um, yeah, click on the link that I have down there below 
and uh, get yourself 10% off, child, because you could still shop and treat yourself for the holidays or treat somebody else for the holidays because these make perfect stocking stuffers. And um, yeah, so I, I guess that's pretty much it. Again, don't forget to subscribe to Sadie Says It All and see me here again every other Tuesday at 7 p.m. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.